What is up, everybody? My name is Suts, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Today, we have a pretty exciting mod for you. This mod brings Risk of Rain 2, or Risk of Rain, I guess either one, to the Binding of Isaac. So we have these chests, kind of like you see in Risk of Rain, where we have to pay money to open them, and they'll give us Risk of Rain items. 80% chance for common item, 19% chance for uncommon, 1% chance for a legendary. We also have something called greed mode on, so every enemy should be dropping money just like Painted Greed guy. Painted Keeper? Kind of like in Risk of Rain, right? Where you get the money for killing enemies. I like this. We also have our normal standard item rooms and a Curse of the Blind. <laughs> with some swarm. Hey, great. Good starts. Good starts. We're Isaac right now, so we'll be able to re-roll the chests in the beginning. Oh, God. I gotta get all that money. Excuse me. I gotta get the money because I can't see behind you. Can you guys move, like, move your heads? Get the money! We have enough to open up one of them. We're not gonna see what it is until uh, we take it. Bam! Cautious slug health generator. And that should be regen, right? If you guys have never seen me play Risk of Rain, Risk of Rain 2 rather, you should totally check that out. I've got tons of episodes. Another one, another one. We no longer have items for sale in the shop. I turned that off. Crowbar, extra damage to healthy monsters. This is great. It's kind of cool just to even see these items in the game. Oh, they can drop nickels. Ooh, and a nickel drop in the room. My goodness. This is great. I do think that there was something in the settings about there being a legendary item for sale after I kill a boss. So maybe we should, at this point in time, save up our money. Seems like there's some sound effects coming through here. And I'm hitting these healthy enemies. 15 cents. Is that going to be enough for a legendary? Probably not. Who's to say we don't go in the secret room? Huzzah! More money. A black rune. Okay. Sure. How expensive is a legendary chest going to be? Hopefully cheap. Or maybe the legendary chest is in the deal with the devil or angel? I, I don't know. Okay, so that noise happens when the crowbar procs, it seems like. This is no longer happening on this guy, probably because he has, uh, he's, he's not a quote-unquote healthy monster. I think it's just like increased damage on an enemy that has like 90% health or something like that. I'd love to see if we can't break the game here, much like you might break Risk of Rain 2. One of those breaks being getting so many crowbars that you do so much extra damage to healthy monsters that you just one-shot everything. What do we got? Okay, I don't see a legendary chest. I think I might have been lied to. Might as well open up one of these then. I don't know, maybe we could wait for the next floor and, and it's just like, I don't know, maybe we'll get enough money next floor anyways. Let's just open one and take it. Personal shield generator. Okay, so that's just a soul heart. It looks like the shield generator gave me a half a soul heart per floor and the cautious slug gave me some sort of healing per floor. So if we go ahead and look at the mod config menu, remove shop items, keeper mode is enabled so enemies drop money, legendary chest after boss enabled, spawn a legendary chest after beating the boss with no damage taken, the chest will be able to spawn only after the first two floors. Got it. You have to like read things. Oh, oh reading. You know reading's not my strong suit. Am I gonna do this? Heck yeah I'm gonna do this. Would I take IV bag if I got it just for extra cash? Maybe. Give me that money. What you got? You. Try tip dagger. Tears have 50% chance to deal bleed and cause bleed and deal additional 1.5 damage. Oh, don't die over there and jump into the fire. I don't get the money. Yeah, there's some bleed there. Bleeding is working. On a room, rainbow baby. Gonna switch that into something that's useful. Yo! Who even needs the risk of rain two items? Wonder if I played this as keeper, if that'd be really strong. Money, you get to pay up with money. Money, please. Thank you. Broken glasses, third chance of adding an extra blind item in item rooms. Yo. Tim. Double yo. Um, okay. I don't know what that suction is, but I'm definitely taking sausage here. Should I go into it? It's the shop. Gotcha. I wish I had a little bit more money so we could take some lunar items. This is going to guarantee the next floor, right? Or at least that's what it does in Risk of Rain 2. I don't have the cash for this. Can I come back? I can't come back. It was a one-time thing. Son of a gun. My heart is broken. Sausage is great, though. Look at how happy I am. Here comes the money. Ooh, that's perfect! Magical skin? No! Black it for range and speed. Black Why didn't I re-roll it? Oh no! <laughs> that's too excited about my black rune. Yep. And to buy some stuff. 20% damage when there is a boss. Yo, that's so good. What about you? Tougher times, 50% chance to block incoming projectile damage. That's so good. These numbers are so high compared to like normal stuff. Dude, look at my speed. I'm gonna laugh when I get a freaking goat hoof. Reverso card. Hermit question mark. 
turns pickups and items in the room to coins. I wonder if I could sell the chest, the unopened Risk of Rain chest, or we could sell some garbage in the boss room. Baby Plum, you're already bleeding. Oh my goodness, the 20% damage boost, you guys. You guys, you guys. Pageant Boy spawns seven random coins. How much do I get if I hermit it? More than seven. Oh my gosh. Of course, it, it didn't guarantee seven pennies, but still, I'm very excited about that. Deal with the devil. You know, we always go angel, and I've got tons of health. Let's see what's up. I regret everything. Boink. I still regret everything. Starting next floor, legendary chests spawn. Let's wait on the initial items in the first room. Wait, wait a minute. 80% chance for an uncommon, 20% legendary. 15 cents to get an equipment or an active item. 25 cents to get a lunar item. Lunar items are like, kind of like cursed items if you've never seen Risk of Rain 2. Some positive effects and some very negative effects. Okay, okay, this is dope. I just need a little bit more money. That's it, okay, that's not it. It is golden though, you know. Go get that, go get that bomb. It'd be fun for you, come on. You know you want it. Oh, oh. <laughs> 37 cents, I'm opening up the large chest. Boink. Norse Tome, killing enemies have a 4% chance to drop one to two more pennies? Ooh, these are pretty accurate, I gotta say. To risk a rain. I wonder if we can uh, take advantage of enemies that spawn more enemies. If we could just sit there and, and hack that. Probably should have tried. We probably also should try to kill these guys when they're not over top of a gap, so they do spawn the spiders. Okay, that was kind of impossible for me to do that. Sweet. Blackheart room damage didn't do me any favors there. Spawns a blue fly when picking up coins. My god. These are the dynamite trinkets. How do I decide between the two? Yeah, we'll go rotten penny here. Item room. Spend my money to reroll? Okay, now, you know, you're splitting my money usage here. But I do have a lot. <laughs> what is the point of playing the Risk of Rain 2 thing? What are we even doing? Try to show off a different mod, I end up getting the most overpowered BS ever. It's not BS, right? It's great, but it's gonna be difficult to show off the Risk of Rain stuff with such overpowered items, my goodness. We have 50 cents too, so I'm hoping we'll be able to afford this legendary. Boink. What if it's just a big, a large chest again? Yum! Okay, that's a new pill. I forgot that I put on a new, another, another mod called Repentance Plus. Some new items and new pills and new cards and things. I'm excited. That's not a new one. Oh, come on! Puts the nickel across a gap. Okay, I can't get the money either when you do stuff like this. You cheater. You're a cheater. Pestilence. Okay, this is uh, one of those moments where I, I could try to cheese. Okay, he's already pretty much dead. Uh, I was gonna say cheese the enemies that he spawns. All right, yeah, spider, don't you kill him. I'm farming the money. We did it to the legendary, it's only 30 cents, go. 57 leaf clover, plus one luck, times two luck multiplier. Can be stacked, okay, that sounds dope. Plus four luck with that. Do we wanna go with an orbital? At this point in time, it's kind of a joke. We don't really need an orbital. Eight ball, planetarium chance, go. And an hierophant, my goodness, they're just landed on thick. Let's, I was gonna say, let's go for the lunar pod, but I, I cannot do such a thing. Don't have that cash. Boink. Gasoline killing an enemy sets nearby enemies aflame. Our crowd control right now is crazy strong. Another lunar pod. I'll consider it. Contract from below. More room drops. Arcades. Ah, I wanted a blood donation machine. I don't even know what that is. That's probably a new item. I'm, I'm saving, I'm, we're going risk of rain two right now, okay? We need some flight ASAP. I don't remember what say you. Mom's perfume, love it. 65 cents, go. Chad. Once again, would love to farm the little dudes. Too bad. Another deal with the devil as well. Let's open this up. Brilliant behemoth. Tears explode and deal 60% of your damage to nearby enemies. I have to know. It's such a good item in Risk of Rain 2. This will probably cause explosion damage on me, kind of like Dr. Fetus or something like that. There's my flight. Yo. I'm gonna reroll little Chad. Sure. Divorce papers, love it. Candle, you're not supposed to be here. I wonder if it only removes full price shop items. Interesting. All right, let's get that lunar item and see what's up. Shaduk, shaped glass, 100% damage multiplier, but maximum health slots are reduced by half. Yep. Oof, six broken hearts. I suppose I'll open this up. Rare item, when at minimum HP, stun all enemies in the room. When at minimum HP, sounds lame, reroll it. What? That's not a Risk of Rain 2 item. I guess you can't reroll. With these five bombs, though, I could go ahead and get into my boss trap room. For some stem cells. Great. Psych. It's now. Are oh, you gonna make me bomb again? Is that what you're gonna make me do? Boom. 
tiers up. I think we're capped. Caps for fire right here. Lunar, two standard chests, or an active item chest. Okay, okay. Mm hmm. Stapler. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 100% damage multiplier. Baby, we're ripping in Terran. Boink. Every four rooms grants a soul heart. All heart containers except one is converted to soul hearts. Maximum red health is reduced to one health container and can't be increased. We're going devil, so I say no to that. Reroll it. It's Ares. I forgot that we can't reroll it into another Risk Rain item, but I'll take it. <laughs> Let's not forget that by increasing my, my damage multiplier, our flies and spiders are doing so much more damage. What's this? Loaded dice grants plus 10 luck for the current room. Can I use that here and get increased chance to get dimes out of this? No. Estrogen up. What is that? Oh. Oh, Claudie buddies. Oh my God, look at all those shots. They converted all of our health into clots. <laughs> That's really cool. Pop? I don't think that does anything. Gotta know. Nothing. Death's one boss. Cage. <laughs> You're done. Ordinary light. This is a new item. It's tier four. Tears up spawns an additional mom, dad related item in treasure rooms alongside the presented one. Only one may be taken. Mom, dad item. Okay. We'll definitely take this. Another brilliant behemoth. Have we been noticing that working? And items do stack in Risk of Rain. It does say on the description of these items that they also stack. That's a new thing. Sinner's Heart, plus two block hearts, damage plus two, and then times 1.5, shot speed down, grants homing. That is like good, 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 good on good. That is just good on good bread. Oh, plus 11 damage. Luck up. Health up. Reroll that. Sulfur. Okay, bye. Large chest, large chest, delicious. What do you got? Attack missile, Mark 1. 10% chance to fire a seeking rocket. Wonder how that's gonna work with my chargeable. And you? Another brilliant behemoth. Maybe we have to have tears for them to like really explode. And we got a planetarium. Eight ball, USOB. It's Neptune, this builds a massive tier bonus over three seconds while not firing. Does that work with uh, chargeables? Also doesn't work with chargeables. <laughs> No, I'm gonna starve. It's okay. It's okay. We're incredibly overpowered. We don't need these items. Last item room for me. Okay, give me a minute. Last item room contains either mom's bracelet or bird cage. So I wonder if I reroll that, if it'll no longer be a mom or dad item, it'll just be an anything item. Boink than anything item. Rubik's Cube, after each use, has a 5% chance to be solved, removing the player and re be replaced with magic cube item? Wait, what? We didn't get it. Removed from the player and replaced with the magic cube item. I don't know what that means. Let's, let's go for it. Let's try it. I don't think we really need the D6 anymore. Let's be honest. What is this guy? Monster 2, 10% chance to drop hearts when killing an enemy. Mom fight, go. The D is super cool, you guys, but come on. Let's try the new stuff. Let's say you. Alien head, 1.25 tier multiplier. Dope, we're at 815 fire. Look at how fast we charge this thing up. And we'll take uh, Polaroid. Give me that large chest. 5% critical chance, fire and critical strike tiers. Give temporary tiers up. Once again, very possible that none of that works with the laser rings. Solve this Rubik's Cube. On the 20th try, there's a 100% chance. Estrogen up, turns all your red health into blood clots. Let's do it. And let's do one lunar pod. Half red hearts are converted to full red hearts. Full red hearts converted to two times red hearts. Half soul hearts converted to full soul hearts. All converted heart pickups will disappear after a short time. Yeah, sure, let's try it out. Enemies have a chance of dropping that health as well because of the monster tooth necklace. All right, one more. Health is converted to soul hearts. Yeah, I see I don't want that because of my monster tooth. Sure, the D could have re-rolled it into some items, but I kind of felt like that was cheating. Rubik's cube, go! Come on. Two plus one. Every third shop item on the current floor will cost one penny. Buying two items with hearts in one room makes all other items free. Okay, that's a weird one. No more shops, so. Oh, you start bombs? That was weird. Fall and fight at 98 cents as well. Wonderful. Love this. And another 57 leaf clover. Luck multiplier. Eight to 10 luck. Seems like it didn't give me the multiplier. Maybe the multiplier only applies once. Large chest. Attack missile one. I don't even think it was working. Whatever. Shattering justice. Legendary. Extra damage to enemies depending on how much health they have. Enemies close to death receive almost 100% more damage. God, it's like the opposite of the crowbar. Let's open these up too. Why not? Red whip. 15% speed multiplier when there are no enemies. And shield generator. Wiggly worms. What does that look like? Yeah. Looks like the SpongeBob background flowers. 
I've used my Rubik's Cube a lot. I'm surprised it's not solved yet. I'm surprised I haven't done it 20 times. It lives. Briefly, we have ceremonial dagger killing enemies have a 25% chance to release four homing daggers, which deal 250% damage. Wow. And our last deal with the devil. It's got a cramp poops. Head of the cramp poopus. Not taking it. Going up. Large chest. Predatory instinct. Crit strikes. Chrono bobble hitting enemies will slow them for a brief time. Trash and risk of rain too. I think I'm gonna love it here. Okay, those homing daggers. Did you see those things? Bro. Rubik's Cube. Okay. Do you even work? Are you real? Hey. Wait, what? I thought I was supposed to be done. Maybe I have to use it one more time. Let's go. No? Do I have to keep solving it again and again and again? I'm, maybe I misread it. Dice room? Two? Eh. Isaac, fight. Dude. How do I... St what do I... How, what, what do I do to get that? You son of a... You tricked me. I want my money back. Looks like we don't get the normal... Ch we do get the normal chest. We don't get the risk of rain chest on the chest. Man, oh man, I wish I had my D. How will I ever win now? Bruh. Tough love at 14. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. The chest drops are crazy strong. Common cold green lasers. Adversary? Oh, no. I figured it out. My Rubik's Cube, I've been using this the entire time. But if I drop it, what does it tell me? Let's re-roll, let's reread it. Magic Cube, re-rolls item pedestals, re-rolled items can be drawn from any item pool. It didn't change into a new Rubik's Cube that I needed to solve. It turned into a four charge D6 that also draws from any item pool. That is magical, it is great, and I had zero clue. But I get it now. So let's take it back. Let's apologize and start rerolling some items. Tech zero. No way that works with our current build. I'm rerolling it. Boink. Nope. Reroll time. That's key. Every time. It's just always going to show up for me. Epiphora, purity. Give me plus 10 damage. Experimental treatment plus everything. Oh, God, it's good. More chests. What's up with all the chest drops? Oh, it's because my 14 luck, I think. Higher the luck, the higher chances of stuff dropping. Full send to the boss room. Wham! One, one and done. One and done. Once again, how do I get that? Should we go for plus 24 luck? 34 luck because of the multiplier? You think I can bomb the chest out? Cool. GG. Thanks. Loved it. Mega Satan time. You think I can one and done Mega Satan? <laughs> Shooting once in this entire fight. There we go. That's it. All right. It's not working. We got to fire more. Bro. Look at my fire rate. Good luck, dude. Godspeed. Delirium. Yep. Remember how I gave up my D6 and then I got a better D6? I remember that. That was pretty fun. What do you got? There was tell more chances for money. Try tip stakes. Rusted key can be open, used to open up rusty chests, which spawn after defeating a boss. What do you got? I don't want that one. Stop trying to give it to me. Potato peeler? Nah. Death. Are we gonna get a legendary chest per boss here? Please, give me that luck. Charge baby, rusted chest, gave me predatory instincts, them crit shots. Cookie cutter gives you one heart container and one broken heart. Having 12 broken hearts kills you. Nah. Soul of Azazel, go. Look at that mini Azazel uh, laser. Wait a minute. We got pop, that's why. Wow, wow, -y wow, wow. Okay, got it. Sister Vis, legendary chest, another brilliant behemoth. We roll this to give me a, what do we got in here? Brownie fight. Ooh. First of all, what red rune damages all enemies in that room, turns item pedestals into red locusts, and turns pickups into random locusts with a 50% chance. Do we need more luck? Do we want Mega Mush? Mega Mush is super fun. Let's see what happens when we get from red locusts instead, though. Okay, I thought I was gonna do both. But now we have a red locust, a permanent red locust that we totally, definitely don't need. I don't feel like I'd make half these decisions if it wasn't for all the new stuff that I'm trying to try. What do you got? Another 57 leaf clover? What do you got? Da. Humbling bundle. Maybe we'll get more money. Soul. Conjoined via soul of Lilith. All right. 
binge eater? Maybe. More ceremonial daggers. I think one of the best parts about Risk of Rain is the fact that they make all of their items stackable, but they're meant to be stacked. That could also just be like why they don't have as many items though. They'd have to make them stackable, right? They could just make 500 items, but... Delirium, let's go, finish this. 15 damage conjoined lasers. We're doing a lot of damage, let's do it. We'll be over soon enough. Almost got him, almost got him. It's done. No legendary chest? <laughs> All right, I'm calling it. That was pretty cool, you guys. I really like that. I don't think that it was balanced in any kind of way, but I did turn the extra money mode on. So maybe I was supposed to get like a lot less items. Also, maybe I could turn off my item rooms. So it's just risk of rain too. But I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on that. That was a absolutely nutter butter run but i mean the normal isaac stuff that we got like tech x i mean come on of course we were gonna dominate like i said thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you leave your thoughts in the comments hit that like button if you enjoyed yourself and i will see you in the next episode see you guys you son of a bitch i'm in look cuts i'm, I'm tim morty I'm Tamorty! Just don't tell my grandma that I said that! Ah, damn, Tim, I could hear that from the basement, you son of a gun! Gotta run! You're gonna pay for that! What do you got? Hey! Oh! Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, it could have been cool. Imagine getting a Joker card. Mm-mm.